Okay, here we are back at the bluffs. I'm not uh, bringing a tripod. Okay, tooth is I forgot it again. We're starting to see some fall colors, which is uh, pretty good considering it's uh, November. <laughs> I'm going to cut away from here and uh, pick up when I get to my site. To give you guys an idea just how wet it is today, this path here is usually high and dry, but it's being fed by another little stream that, uh, well, we'll call it a stream slash footpath, because it is one of the footpaths you can take. But anyway, you can see how wet this is. There's really nowhere for me to cross without getting my boots dirty. Oh well. Look at this, there's got to be 10 new little cricks since I came through here two or three weeks ago. It was more like two weeks ago. And you can see there was a lot of water here. It rained right up until this morning. So nothing's dry. Perfect for what I want to try and do. Which is, as you probably guessed, start a fire. Here's the main little creek. In the height of the summer, this is all there is for cricks. And it's running really clear compared to usual. Okay, here we are, down at the beach. One of my favorite stretches. Please forgive my photography, I cannot see a thing on the screen. The sun just came out as I got here. Nice wind from the east this time. This is the debris field from my previous video. that there's so much green because I'm moving on the camera so you can hear me. I'm amazed there's so much green because the it's November 3rd after all. And uh, whoops. And you would think by now most of the trees would be changing colors and lost their leaves. This is more like September than November. I mean, uh, yeah, September. And uh, usually you start getting cold snaps in October. We've had one or two right at the very end. Somebody had a little fire here. Look how wet the sand is. Chances of getting a fire going today are going to be pretty slim, I would think. Quite a few people out, considering they, I guess they're thinking like me, might as well take advantage of this nice weather while we still have it. If I had more time, I'd like to explore the bottom of the bluffs. They're ready to come down. I can't see where I'm shooting, but maybe I'll be able to see it when I get back home. Right there is my 
some of the wood I had when I was doing this the last time. And that's what I'm going to use this time, even though it's wet. It's very wet. Alright. Let's see if I can find a place to set the camera. Cool weapons are. Now, if you watched my most recent video, you will have seen me using absolutely soaked. I call it fire cotton. It's just basically cotton and petroleum jelly. Alright. This is what I'm talking about. See? This is pretty dry. Okay, so what you want to do is put it underneath. Alright. Got the pigs ready. Even though they're wet. is fine. I'm going to handheld this. No, I can't. They need both hands. Huh. I think that'll do. Maybe. Okay. For a striker, I'm going to use my Gerber knife. Just throw those pretty good sparks. You have to condition it first. Wow, first try, well, second try. Okay. I think you can see that. because it's going to smoke in a few seconds. Meanwhile, let's put back our fire steel. That's kind of important. This bar. And Oops, I didn't mean to do that.
Now, normally what I would be doing is looking for bigger pieces of wood. You gotta love it. Now. Oh, out comes the sun. Isn't that nice? Are we still recording voice? Yep. That's good. My little teepee is pretty precarious, huh? Discovered is that wood's pretty strong stuff. Yeah. There we go. It's only two nice days. Did I put you out? I'm sorry. There you go. Yeah, it's getting to be three o'clock. Considering all the farting around it, that's not bad. A little bit of heat coming off this. And the wind's blowing right at where I would be sitting, which is okay. But I think I'll move my back back. stuff I'm putting in now is not that way. Oh, it is. It's just hardwood shaving.
I hear something steaming away in there. Probably create more smoke than anything else. Yeah. Look what's burning. Very nice wet. Throwing some heat. All right, so I've taken this about as far as I want to for this session. Okay, here we go with the obligatory walkout video. God, what a beautiful day! Up or November the third. 2017 gorgeous day I mean gorgeous I actually took my jacket off for a while but the wind picked up so I had to put it back on but there was a mosquito flying around that's how warm it is today the uh, weather people say it was 11 degrees with a wind chill of 3 degrees and uh, as you can see I don't have my jacket done up have a felt shirt on and blue jeans. I did wear a hat because last time I was here my head got a little cold. I had to put the hood up. I do have a hoodie back here if I need it. But uh, gosh. I wonder what Joe's doing right now. I bet she's out somewhere setting up camp. In case you don't know who Joe is, I'm talking about Joe Robinette. He, he's one of my favorite uh, videographers. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. Um, I went out and I accomplished what I went out to do. I was able to start a fire with very damp wood. And uh, if you look at my previous video, you can see how I experimented with the process at home using soaking wet wood and some uh, what I call fire cotton, which is uh, cotton and petroleum jelly. And I took that out into the field and I had some dry tinder which was uh, pre-made and I kept in, a, kept in my pack so that I could start the fire and get it going and then I could add sticks. And even though the sticks in the field were quite wet, uh, if I had more time and I collected more wood, I could have made them much smaller and they would have dried out quicker and caught fire and then I could have added bigger sticks and so on until I got a pretty good fire that I could leave. But uh, I accomplished what I wanted to do was just get the twigs burning and um, um, that worked quite quite well although I couldn't have done it without the uh, fire without the fat wood and the um, fire cotton so uh, I think I'm going to chalk that one up in the success category next time I go out I'll be trying to uh, make a bigger fire and I'm going to see if I can scout around the area and find some local resources to uh, make uh, kindling and uh, tinder. So take care, have a good day, stay safe, and uh, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button if you haven't already done it, and also you, you could be nice and hit the like button for me.